All right, so today we're going to try and break down some of the taboo about STDs. Now, we're not discrediting the importance of sexual safety, but we are trying to encourage people to talk about some ailments that they may have. You know, it's not your fault that you've caught something. Maybe some money is, is incentive enough for them to, to come out and speak. What's this boat doing? Well, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to break the stigma. Fucking, you're putting me on fucking... No, well, the problem on is... On social media or some no, shit. No, Every but... couple of fucking thing I'm a low cunt with herpes. I uh, won't get a root again. Nah, that's not very nice. There's still people. I get that, but there's a stigma to it. Exactly, like and that's what know. we're trying to break. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you, but I haven't got it, mate. All right, well, fair enough. Well, you've yeah. been lucky. Yeah, I, I have. I've been very lucky, yeah. you're right. Very itchy, nasty. Warts on the uh, Johnson is a fucking nightmare. So you're itchy now? It's so itchy. Yeah. So itchy right now. So itchy, And the yeah. warts are flared up. <laughs> it gets a bit itchy. Yeah. Stings me in the shower, yeah. yeah. It's pretty bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's, no, it's no good. It's no, no good. good. Wouldn't, 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 wouldn't want anyone to have it. All right, well, thanks for coming clean to us, mate. There's 50 bucks and, and good luck. And maybe get some, um, Thank you. get something from the, the pharmacy to help you out with that. We're just trying to break that fear down. You don't have to be afraid. You can talk about it. It's okay, it's just a virus. So, <laughs> yeah. have you guys had it? No, not that I know. I had a cold sore like one week ago. <laughs> oh, you've still got the remnants. Can we get a close-up of that? Look into the light so we can expose that lip a little bit. Oh, yeah. And tilt your head, chin up. See, oh, it's God. just here. Once, <laughs> once a year I uh, get run down and it comes and that's about all I get. What about syphilis? <laughs> Have you had any STDs? No. Gonorrhea? No. AIDS? Nothing. Nothing. Wow. Okay. Well, you're... Did you get living a celibate life? Oh, you're celibate. Oh, you're a priest. Yep. Re really a priest? No. Oh. <laughs> what are you? I might as well be one, no. What are you? <laughs> Very lonely. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> you don't have sexual intercourse? No. With nothing? No. How long? How long has it been? Uh, a long time. What? Have you ever had sex? <laughs> I see you guys. Wow. Wow. That's fucking amazing. We may have just met the, the world's oldest virgin. And, and some of the symptoms of the, of the um, herpes? Itchy nose, um, itchy vagina and penis. You may have got it through intercourse or something, you know, but, which sure. is taboo, I guess, but yeah. it doesn't have to be that. And that's why we're here, is to just, you know, encourage people like you uh -huh. to come and say, yeah, I have had it, and say it with confidence. Yeah, you know, yeah, you can, I have had it. Yeah, yeah, you can be loud and proud. Uh-huh. Did you pass it on to anyone, any chicks or anything? Uh, no, nah, no chicks, just copped it. Yeah, that's just, good. So you were, you were safe and you were yeah, wise about thing. it? You safety is everything. Just oh, that's good, because you don't want to give it to other people. No, eh? exactly. You've no. got to keep safe. Yeah. Oh, well, well, there you go. Oh, cheers, thank you. Well, thanks for coming clean to oh, us well, on thank this. thank you. you know? Yeah, it's a pretty touchy subject for me. It fucks our mental health. Yeah. Even suicide, you know? Yeah. People can't deal with it. They yeah. don't know how, they can't get another partner. It just fucks them up. Yeah. You know, when really it's just... You know, shit happens, yeah. and um, you can medicate it and all that sort of stuff. So we're just trying to break that stigma that it's actually not that bad. We're having our lunch. We're going to give you an honest review. We're here, Scales, which is on Kennedy Drive. And we are on the hunt to find the Tweed Shire's greatest fish and chips. This is the male row from the sea mullet. So that is, that, yeah. that's essentially little bags of semen, isn't it? Yes, it is, yep. People that like that. Is. People love it. You can imagine how good it is for you though. That's like millions of little fish. You're yeah. telling me you, you would have some my fatty juice would be good for you? Wouldn't be bad for you. Not gonna hurt Ooh. by any means, is it? I like this place already. Should we have a snapper, Willem? Yeah, we're having a snapper. That's what we're having. We're having a fresh snapper right here. Are you selecting it? Yeah. I'm just a bit concerned about the oh, payday sorry. bit because this is my turn to pay and, and Willem's getting all the expensive things. So I'm a bit concerned. Prawns, fish, what else? Chips, calamari, yes. large chips for all of you. Yes. Plain salt, chicken salt, no salt. Chicken. 100 bucks. That's 101 dollars oh, an FPOS charge. You got a credit card, do you? No, I just tapped my thing. <laughs> I feel like I'm a master chef. Yeah. I'm the judge. This is good, eh? This meal actually came to $101.50. So, the last one was 101 This is 50 cents more. Um, and they've given us complimentary sauces. Because oh, okay. I forgot to order the sauces. I ran in there and I said, I forgot to order the sauces. I said, don't worry about it. Okay, complimentary. Okay, complimentary nice. sauces. Um, and and they've, they've gone the extra mile. Like they, they said, what else do you want, guys? What do you like? And they come and showed us these massive green prawns. They're going to cut them up fresh for us. 
that's a nice touch. Yeah, that's Nothing wrong with a bit of pink, eh? Beautiful. Beautiful. It's great. Yeah, yeah. the I'll cans are a bit one. cold. I'll grab another one. Nice touch. Rub is up. A load of this. Wow. Thanks a lot. Oh, fantastic. And a bit of batter. Oh, oh and the grilled. And we, didn't, wow. we, we didn't grab any cutlery. We How good. many were you wanting? Oh, do you guys want any cutlery, any sauces or anything like that? We've got uh, some sauces. Just some cutlery would be good, thanks. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Wow. Oh, it looks great. All right, so you've got your crumbed, you've got your grilled, you've got your battered, and this is snapper. A grade snapper. But hang on, we've got to talk about something first. People last time, they didn't like that we were dousing the fish in sauce. And they're saying it takes away the flavour. I highly disagree. Like, fish has a very prominent taste. It's there. Like, I don't think using sauce can extinguish the whole taste of the fish. No. Do you know what I mean? It would enhance it. Oh, it's crunchy. I'm just going to go this end here first. Mmm. Mmm. That is very good. It's a very good batter. It's slightly thicker than the one we had last week, but it's not thick by any means. I do prefer this battered one over Get Hooked. Because Get Hooked will say, yeah, but it's snapper, it's a different fish, and, and probably the viewer might say that too. No, well, I've tasted a lot of fish, snapper. The snapper and flat are my favourite fish to eat. Grilled snapper. Oh, it's still steaming. Put a little bit of lemon on there. A little dry. I did, at the end, aftertaste bit, there was a little bit of dryness. I'm gonna go in for this prawn now. Oh, oh wow. Fish and chips, you never really know until you, after you're finished. Um, once it's settled in your stomach, how you actually feel. Because a lot of time you can feel quite gluggy, the fucking oil. It's not too oily. I think there's more food here than the other joint. Isn't there? For $101.50, that's a lot of food. That could feed six people. No shit. They butcher the prawns there and cut them out for you fresh. That's, that's a really nice touch. I'll try their plum sauce here. This is very good. And I love the calamari here. They put like a bit of magic powder or something in the crumb, like a bit of garlic powder or something, possibly a few numbers in there, you know, just for flavor enhancement. Um, it's delicious. It's a bit naughty. If you're not from Tweed and you want to come to Tweed, you've got to come check out these places. Even get, get hooked. Look, it was good food. Mm. It was. It's, it's not a place that you walk out of disappointed, where you're like, oh, fuck, what a waste of money. It's not that. Um, but this is definitely better. Danny, give me your rating first. Well, as you know, I went a bit high on the other joint. I went 8.5, it was delicious. Um, the food here was better. Oh, I, and I, I had to give it an 8.75. An 8.75, that's pretty good. Oh, we'll right? it, it was exquisite, those prawns, three ways, amazing. Very, very nice. Tasty calamari, calamari with flavor. The batter was good, the crumb was good. Very good fish. Yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 very well done. I enjoyed the meal, I thought it was great. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I did give it an 8.75. Beautiful! Did you give it an 8.75? Yeah. Oh, I'll take yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Man yeah. uh, just remember, if you fish and fails, come to scales. That's yeah. it. <laughs> All right. Fish Thanks, fails. guys. Enjoy. Thanks, Thanks, well. Thanks, Danny. If fishing fails, come to scales. Yeah, I Oh, am. you guys are in for a treat. What a spot. Beautiful fish. Yeah, I had to give it an extra... 0.5 and 0.50, yeah. Yeah, well that's good. That's, we're, we both 8.75.